Hello, I'm a Monica, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Boston. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot health check failure for the Amazon Elastic Container Service task on AWS Fargate. Let's get started. If you receive either of these errors, Try these troubleshooting steps. After logging into the AWS Management Console, select the region, navigate to the Elastic Container Service in Console. Select the ECS cluster that you are troubleshooting. Select the ECS service. Go to Configuration and Networking tab. Go to Task Definition under a Service Configuration and open in New tab. Select the JSON tab and note down the container port configuration. In my case, I'm using the port 80. Let's go back to the ECS service configuration and networking page. Select the security group associated with your container from the network configuration. In security group, check the inbound rules. If your container is mapped to the port 80, confirm that your container security group allows the inbound traffic on a port 80 for the load balancer. High CPU can make your application unresponsive and that can also result in 502 error. You can monitor the CPU and memory utilization under the Health and Metric tab. If your application needs more time to warm up than the timeout value specified in the health check settings of the target group, then specify a health check grace period as an Amazon ECS service definition parameter. This instructs the service scheduler to ignore any failed load balancer health check for a predefined time period after a task has been instantiated. This is only valid if your service is configured to use the load balancer. If your service has a load balancer defined, and you do not specify a health check grace period value, then the default value of zero is used. To edit the value, click on Update Service. Go to Load Balancing and adjust the health check grace period. Then click on Update. I'm not going to change, so clicking on the Cancel button. Now let's confirm that the health check port value for your load balancer health is configured correctly. If this port is not configured correctly, then your load balancer marks the task that is registered as a target in the target group as unhealthy and the service scheduler then deregister the task for the target group. Go to Task tab. Select a running task. Select Network Binding on a Container Details. The health check port must be configured to use the host port value for the container in your service task definition that you are using with the health check. Choose ECS service. Select the target group associated with the ECS service. Go to the health check tab. Make sure that health check port and health check path are configured correctly. Make sure that you use the traffic port or dedicated health check port if you have configured that. For further troubleshooting, check your application logs for the application error. Make sure that your backend database is connected successfully. This assumes that your application is running as a set of tasks launched by the ECS on the AWS Fargate. It also assumes that your application cannot communicate with Amazon Relational Database Service. If you receive a 504 error such as this, you can receive a 504 error for any of these reasons. Your load balancer failed to establish a connection to the target before the connection time out expired. Your load balancer established the connection to the target, but the target did not respond before the idle timeout period elapsed. The network access control list for your subnet did not allow the traffic from the target to the load balancer nodes on the FML ports. Try these troubleshooting steps. After logging into the AWS Management Console, select the region and then navigate to the Elastic Container Service in Console. Select the ECS cluster that you are troubleshooting. Select the ECS service. 
select the target group associated with the ECS service. Go to the Health Checks tab. Make sure that the response timeout value is set correctly. The response timeout is the amount of the time that your container has to return a response to the health check request. If this value is lower than the amount of the time required for a response, then the health check fails. If you receive the following error, the containers in your task are using the health check that your service cannot pass. Try these troubleshooting steps. Confirm that the command that you are passing to the container is correct and has the right syntax. Check your application logs and Amazon CloudWatch logs if the task has been running for a while. After logging into the AWS Management Console, select the region, navigate to the Elastic Container Service in Console. Select Task Definition from the left side of the navigation page. Select the task definition that you are troubleshooting. Go to the JSON tab, look for the health check and then confirm that the command that you are passing to the container is correct and has the right syntax. Now let's see how to check the task logs for the further troubleshooting. Select the cluster from the left side of the navigation pane. Select the ECS cluster that you are troubleshooting. Select the ECS service. Navigate to task tab and select the task that you are troubleshooting. Go to Logs tab. You can view task logs here or you can click View Logs in CloudWatch, which opens the associated log stream in the CloudWatch console. You cannot access the underlying host because Fargit is managed by the AWS. For further troubleshooting, launch your Amazon ECS task in Amazon EC2, then connect to your EC2 instance using SSH. So now you know how to troubleshoot health check failures on ECS task on AWS Fargate. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at the AWS. Mm -hmm.